Cheers. Yeah, it's quarter to three in the morning. I, I'm supposed to be asleep right now, right? Because I, I went to bed like nine or ten o'clock and four, four hours and 45 minutes. That's, that's hardly enough sleep for anybody. But something woke me up and I, you know, so here I am. So I thought, okay, hey, what should I do? Should I listen to soft music and try to put myself back to sleep? No, I think I'll get up, get all hyper from the, the internet and, and make a video. <laughs> Lucky you. Anyway, uh, this I was going to make a video response to Lily's Are Like and her uh, Growing Pains video, which I thought was amazing. If you haven't seen it, uh, go watch it. Comment if you'd like. It made me think a lot about my upbringing and my parents and what amazing parents I had. And you know, regardless of what kind of situation you find yourself in, uh, everybody has things that are going on in their life that's good and bad, but you know, I have to say, really, I won the parent lottery. I say this all the time, but I really mean it. Because you know, we were always talking at the dinner table. There was lots of conversation, a lot of support. Uh, I don't know that my mom and dad just knew what to do, you know. And, and, and I think the, the biggest thing was that they were just so incredibly in love with each other that that love just kind of filters down to you know my sister and me. One thing that I always remember. First of all, my mom was a, a great listener, and she had, I, I walked in from school one day, you know, I was, I was like young, 10 or 11 or something, you know, and I, and I never entered a room silently, you know, and like, hey mom, I'm home, you know, and, and I look in, and this lady is crying, and my mom is talking to her, and she just kind of nodded and waved, and, and I knew she was helping somebody. One Saturday morning, my dad wakes me up. I, we did this many times, but I, I remember this one in particular, and so, he, you know, hey, son, get up, we have things to do today. And my dad was one of these guys, you know, when he would work on the car, he always had me there, and he was, you know, pointing out different things in the car, and the carburetor, and the alternator, and the radiator, and the, uh, you know, gasiator, and whatever. So, so, uh, so, so I never knew what we were going to do. Well, this particular Saturday, we, we went to a hardware store, and we bought a basketball backboard and a goal. He didn't say anything, no explanation, but we went to one of my friend's house, who didn't have a dad, and who loved basketball. He had a basketball pole, you know, but no basketball goal or backboard. And so we put up this backboard and this goal, and my dad never said a word about it. He never talked about, you know, well, we're going to go do this for this person. He just did it. And that, that was what he did. My parents led by example. And that's probably the most meaningful thing to me that I can think of. And it, it's affected, you know, it affects you your whole life. And so you know, I, I just want to share this because I think it's kind of important to, to pass things like that on, that really you get a, a whole lot more done and you can influence a whole lot more people by your actions than you can by your words. Speaking of words... My friend Pete Animation is going to have a blog TV on Monday nights at 8 o'clock British Summer Time, 3 o'clock in the afternoon uh, American Time, Eastern Daylight Time at this point. And uh, join us, blog TV slash Pete Animations, and we'll see you soon. Should I go back to bed or not? Nah, I'm already hyped up.